All right, um, so now we got a very similar problem to the ones we were doing before. And the problems that I was primarily focused on before was um, we're still doing division, but you know, adding. So now we're having a, um, a variable being divided, but now it's just the problem of subtracting. So remember when I said reverse order of operations, I said undo addition and subtraction first, right? Because um, on order of operation, that comes last. Well, when solving equations, we use the we follow the reverse order of operations, meaning we're now going to um, do addition and subtraction first. And what I mean by addition and subtraction first is the inverse operations of addition and subtraction. So here, I have my variable x is being subtracted by 3. And remember, our point is we need to isolate that variable. So to undo subtracting by 3, I'm going to add 3 to both sides of my equal sign. So therefore, I have x over 8 equals 4 plus 3 is 7. Because negative 3 plus 3 is 0. 0 plus x over 8 is still going to be x over 8. Now I look at my variable and say, all right, it's being divided. So to undo division, I multiply by 8 on both sides by the multiplication property of equality. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 1 times x is just x. right? And then 7 times 8 is 56. So the value of my variable um, that makes this equation true is 56. And again, you can just plug it in and take a look. 56 divided by 8 is 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. We're good.